yes. So the the hack that you know I, I came across to um, to do this. Um, why don't you uh, stand up and we'll uh, we'll go through this because the key here is to remember that despite all this, this information I'm giving you about the physical side of central equilibrium, the substantial side, what is more important is learning to identify the insubstantial feeling that comes with being in central equilibrium, Zhong Ding. So the, and so if you look at it, you think of it as when I say, don't push your butt out, don't know JBS, I am just drawing a map there. That is not central equilibrium. That is just it's like, okay, look over here and, and you know, there's gold buried in that, in this spot. And I'm just pointing to a spot. I'm not really giving you the gold. The gold you have to find, you got to dig for it. And that comes from aligning your body and getting the feeling. And so if you just stand, so feel the balls of your feet and release your knees. And um, so if you find that you have your weight slightly tilted to one side or the other, you, you might not be able to notice it right now by looking at me, but I have my right hip is locked up because I have more weight in my right leg than my left. And now I'm gonna take it into the left leg. And even though it looks pretty normal, it, there is definitely a locking up that occurs. So if you're finding that your hips are locked up either side, there's a good chance that you are loaded more in that side than the other. So the hack that, that, that I came up with is if you do have one leg that is more tense, more um, loaded up than the other, then let's say uh, your right leg. So if you just bring your weight just slightly to the left. So we start off like the first move where we're stepping out to the side, right? We're, we're gonna do that. We begin that we, with the weight 50-50. We wanna have feel the balls of both feet. Well, when you do that, kind of just shade just a slight bit to the left so that we know that we're gonna be activating the right leg, but so just for, just to let the right leg go so that you can, that you can actually use it. You can actually do stuff with it. You can release the hip joint. You load up the left leg just slightly and then you feel the ball of the right foot. And set the right knee and, and then you start to load that up and find that place. There's a quiet place right in the center there that when you get into that place, your mind clears and the energy just rushes through. You open the gate between heaven and earth and you allow, connect up to the big chi. So just for our purposes right now, you're gonna be looking for that place. So just bring your weight a little more to the left and just feel into that. And then, and then feel the ball, the right foot without shifting any weight into it. And then look for that spot. And the, it's counterintuitive because it will be the spot where you feel the most vulnerable, is where you feel the most precarious. And paradoxically, it is a place where you are at your peak of root, of energy, of internal power. But it feels vulnerable. It feels precarious. So just 
And then now bring your weight and just put your weight a little more into the right foot without dramatically shifting your position at all. And just feel into that and then feel the ball of your left foot and then find your center equilibrium there. This is a quiet meditation, but notice it has the effect, a very powerful effect of a meditation as you do it. Your mind clears, you get to the gap between thoughts very quickly whenever you find that spot. So it's not just because, not just that it gives you more effective power that increases your root, it increases your energy, but it also clears your mind and allows you to feel into that super conscious state. Now take your, into your, feel your left foot and just kind of shift even more into that and just notice what that does to the, your, your energy, what it does to your mind whenever you really rock to the side and just, and then feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, and start to load up the right foot and spiraling down to the left as you do that. And just feel into that. And find your center equilibrium. Notice that spot. There's a place where the water runs clear. And then turn. And as you turn, still feel your energetic coherence, still feel your central equilibrium, still feel the weight on the inside of your foot. Feel that ball of the left foot, or the right foot, I'm sorry. Feel the ball of the right foot as you do that. And you want to be able to just release into that, just really feel sung in that right leg so that you can pick up the left heel effortlessly because you really feel relaxed into that. Now step forward with your left foot and feel the ball of the left foot and push your left knee forward. So now we're going to be looking for central equilibrium in a bow stance. So allow your weight to go just a little bit into your back foot so that you can release the, your, the, the front claw, your left claw. And then feel the ball, set the knee, but feel the leg is kind of empty. So we're going to release down, spiral down to the left now, and we start to load it up. But we're loading it up after it's been emptied out. So even though we, we had the weight, we had the, the left leg forward, it's not loaded. It, we're still supporting from the, from the right leg. And we wanna feel into that and turn back to center and find that same quiet place of central equilibrium there. Find that, that sweet spot where the water runs clear. And feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. Good, and then spiral down and start to load up the right leg now. Find that quiet spot there. If you can't, then go back into the left leg a bit empty out the right and then feel the ball, set the knee and then ah, spiral down again. Just release down and step back with the left foot and just bring, raise the heel of the left foot. So you're just lightly on the toe. So now we're finding central equilibrium in the right foot, the right leg, but in a primarily single-weighted stance. 
we have about 95 to 99% of the weight in the right leg now. And we're looking for that sweet spot. We're looking for that quiet place of, of connection, of emptiness, that paradoxical, powerful emptiness. Okay, so then step up. And find your center of equilibrium with your feet parallel. Bring your weight a little more to the left. More to the right and find the place where it, the pendulum stops where it just, there you are dead center and you feel that connection. It's like now your body is a conduit for the energy, the energy of the heavens cascading down through and out through your feet, the energy of the earth coming up and out to the top of your head. You feel it radiating in all directions. Take a deep breath, breathe, inhale, and exhale, and disappear the cheek, dissolve it. <laughs> 